8th of March, 2018, was the day that took me back to a time when I was 13 in Pakistan and I felt stuck in my gender, desperately wanting to trade it for freedom. It was the day when all the unfair rules that are put in place for women, when all the unconscious biases and discriminatory actions and words I've ever, <clears throat> ever experienced rose to the surface and found an ignition source. <clears throat> I was, had just transitioned into a new role and I was excited. I was speaking up more. I was asking questions and I was taking charge. But for some reason, I was rubbing people around me the wrong way. I was puzzled and confused. What was I doing wrong? There was something in my leadership style that was just not gelling well with my new colleagues. Then came 8th of March. I was sitting in an all day long meeting where I was excited to be part of when one of my male colleagues walked across the room, tapped me on my shoulder and asked me to step out and work on another task. I looked up at him puzzled because he was not my boss and the task not so important. I, looked, I glanced and looked at the room around me. It was a room full of men and I was the only woman. I clearly did not belong. I did as he had asked. I step out of the room, calculated in my head, it'll take me about two hours. I'll skip lunch and join them right up, back into the meeting after lunch. And I did that and 10 minutes in, I saw him stand up again, tap me on my shoulder, signal me to get out and said, um, you forgot to capitalize the A on the appendix. I really think you need to finish this before um, you come and join this meeting with us. I looked up again at the room around me and no one noticed. Was this just a coincidence? Was I overreacting? I mean, this was 2018 and I was in Scandinavia, a region that prides itself for championing women's rights. But is it a coincidence when it happens over and over again? Was I just overreacting? There, that is the question that has come to define as women every time we speak up against discrimination. It's a word that's been labeled to us so many times that we don't trust our instincts, uh, instincts anymore, but instead label it as an overreaction. My only regret from last year is that I did not react strongly enough. If we want to make a difference, we need to overreact to subtle and blatant discrimination that we see around us. So in 2019, I will be speaking up more to ensure that there are more women in every meeting where a decision is to be made. 2018 wasn't all bad. It was a great year for women in the United States when 113 women were elected to the Congress and the Senate. When Alexandria Cortez, Ocasio Cortez, was criticized for her bright red lipstick and her bold earrings, she responded, get used to it. This is what a Congresswoman from the Bronx looks like. I loved that. We as women need to get out there and redefine leadership. Let's be ourselves, let's be bold, let's speak up more, and let's stay different.